And as we are looking forward to the start of a new year, we're thinking about the weather and the forecast that's going to take us right into 2024, Michelle. Yeah, and there are some years it can just be downright bone chilling mm -hmm. cold in this part of Washington over New Year's, but not going to be the case this year. Uh, out on the west side, about 48 degrees in Seattle right now. And of course, we're a little bit colder here, but not by much. We have 36 degrees, which is about uh, three degrees above our average high for this time of year. I think we topped out at 37 this afternoon, which is not bad. One of the coldest times of the year, late December and early January. But 36, cloudy skies, no rain here yet, but we may see a little bit this evening. Winds out of the northeast, east northeast at seven miles per hour. We do have a chance of light rain this evening. Evening. Yeah, you heard that right. Rain and not snow. Most of the precipitation in the lower elevations is going to be in the form of rain this evening and even overnight. And then after that, we're looking at some dry weather for the next several days. In fact, through Saturday and take a look at the highs. They're going to be in the low 40s. So pretty mild, pretty quiet weather as we head into the holiday weekend. We do have a slight chance of rain and or snow for New Year's and New Year's Day. I'm going to lean more towards rain with these upcoming storm systems, but neither of them are going to be majorly impactful. As you saw, high temperatures still expected around 40 degrees. As far as the mountain passes are concerned, that warm air actually does extend into the higher elevations as well. We are looking at a wintry mix tomorrow across the Cascades, but a chance of rain on Friday, even up above 4,000 feet at Stevens Pass. Isolated snow for lookout tomorrow and for Sherman Pass in the morning and otherwise dry weather as we get into Friday. Take a look at this temperature trend. We are at the time of year where we have our coldest average highs and that's 33 degrees, but we're nowhere near that for the next seven days. In fact, 40s for the next three days and pretty close to 40 even as we uh, get into the first week of the new year. Satellite and radar right now, we're seeing two storm systems out in the Pacific. We're just kind of getting a glancing blow uh, from this low that is off the coast right now. You can kind of see it's kind of hooking and heading north, so we're just kind of getting the tail end of that in the form of a few light rain showers moving Moving through this evening. The next storm system behind it, that's going to be coming in uh, closer to the weekend, and that's going to really stretch out from north to south. And so as it splits into two systems, the north and south branch, we're going to be kind of in the wishy-washy middle, which means not a lot of major weather going on in our neck of the woods. So future tracker showing that uh, light rain moving through overnight. This is a quick mover, and then it's out of the way. Few sprinkles possible overnight. Temperatures should bottom out around freezing or even above freezing. And then we're looking at partly sunny skies for tomorrow and pretty quiet weather conditions as we head into the weekend. So here's a look at that extended forecast. Quiet weather through Saturday, slight chance of rain Saturday night into Sunday. And if we see any precipitation into New Year's, it looks like it'll be uh, more on the rain than snowy side. High temperatures near 40 degrees.